What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. So we got a bit of updates on what's going down next week in the upcoming months. So we are getting Jerome and the Arbiter, as you guys already know. They seem to be coming next week. I'm going to predict Wednesday since they like Wednesdays for new releases. And yes, they will be free if you have the season pass. I know many people are confused on what's free and what isn't. But 343 clearly stated today on their forum that they are very sorry for all the mix up and stated that the Brute Leaders, new missions, and the new mode will all be a part of the DLC Awakening the Nightmare and will all be released least $20 at launch. As for the leaders, many YouTubers already made videos on their abilities, but it seems like both leaders only have two unique units, Jerome being a Macedon, which you can garrison troops inside, and they can fire like a normal garrison, which is pretty cool, but we'll have to see how that plays out. As for the Arbiter, the Grunt Squads have an elite leading instead of a Brute, and also a Phantom, which is a leader ability that allows the Phantom to be bought in the base, which is really cool. Not much gameplay with the Arbiter, so he might be hiding one or more units still, which is a possibility that he might have more to offer. As for other news, 343 dropped today, we are getting one more UNSC leader next month before we get the double banished brute leaders. His final name is Spearbreakers, so any of you lore experts have any idea what that means or references to, let me know, I would love to learn more about it. As for the other, there are no leads on who the two banished leaders might be, but they are labeled as brutes, so that takes much out of the equation in many predictions. As for that, I'm very excited on the direction the game is going. There will be 16 leaders in total when they release the two new banished leaders, which is insane, coming from 6 leaders at launch, which is really incredible and the progression is there. With each leader they release, the game gets more interesting to play. Hopefully they have more leaders to come after the season is over and as they drop every new leader, hopefully they'll make the older ones free to play for those who didn't get a chance to buy them so it gives more playability to the players and the game itself. And that's it for the news guys, uh, there's not much else to talk about. Everyone should be excited for next week, it's going to be very chaotic with all the new content and the builds. I'll for sure give you guys the best strats for each leader and give you guys my insight on what's the best choice to go about with each one. And as always guys, I love you all, thank you guys for watching. We're almost at 1k, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do for 1k milestone, but I'll try to get back to all of you somehow. Maybe uh, a Halo 5 custom game lobby, maybe a Minecraft session, I'm not really sure. But as always guys, it's been your boy Whistler, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!